Good evening, Facebook Nation. Dr. Markel here in this Thursday night. Yeah, it is Thursday. Where the heck did the week go? But I'm here with my trusty guitar, and I wanted to serenade you all. I'm just kidding. So guitar being a um, tool that we use here in the office, and serenade being fill you in a little bit. Maybe educate you? Maybe I shouldn't tell you you're going to get educated. You're not going to want to listen. But anyways, so if you have been here in the office or if we've adjusted you outside of the office, um, more than likely you have seen this little guy. So this is called an integrator, and it is a tool that Dr. T and I use sometimes when we're adjusting. And sometimes after we've adjusted a person, they'll be like, what the heck was that little thing? Or I've also heard, I have no idea what that little thing does, but man, does it work. Yes, you are correct. But for the more curious, more scientific, uh, maybe if you just want to, want to know more, you might be wondering, how exactly does this thing work? Okay? So I wasn't totally wrong when I said that Dr. T and I played guitar. It maybe was a little bit of a misnomer to snatch you and get you to want to hang out with me this evening. But I want you to think of this little tool and what Dr. T and I do as how you would tune a guitar. So if you've ever seen someone who knows how to play guitar, you're, they're strumming along and all of a sudden you hear them bung a note. And they kind of make a sour face like, ooh, what was that? Okay. And all of a sudden, they're twisting on those little pegs. They're hooking it up to a fancy little electronic gizmo. And they're, they're playing with the tension. And why do they do that? Because it actually affects the music that you can make. All right? So when Dr. T and I are um, checking you at your feet, checking your spine, checking your nervous system, uh, think of it like we're tuning a guitar. So there is tension in your nervous system. And I don't mean tight muscles. I mean that there is actual tension that we can feel and sometimes even we can see um, depending on not just posture but um, different ways that your body presents. We can actually see it. And so when we are checking you at your, at your feet, we are kind of figuring out okay, which set of pegs on the guitar do we need to go to? So, like I said, this is a little bit of a janky analogy because a guitar has just the one set of pegs at the top. Think of your spine as having multiple pegs that need to be tuned. And I, we've talked about this before where the goal of the adjustment is not to move bones or loosen tight muscles. That's not what we're doing. This little doomahickey, an integrator, we call it a, a clicker here. I've heard it called a, what did he call it the other day? A little boy. Oh, a snapper. I thought that was cute. A snapper. Um, the goal that we're doing here is we're actually looking to affect the joints. We're looking to hit the receptors in those joints because that is what's going to flood your brain with that good, happy, healthy, love information. All right? So... Um, where was I going to go with this? Oh, I guess that's, I've kind of went there. I'm telling you that this little guy, a.k.a. Um, our electronic gizmo that tunes our guitar, a.k.a. your nervous system, is helping us to adjust the tension in your spine so that your body can play sweet, sweet music. And by sweet, sweet music, I mean express total life, be healthy, happy, the whole nine yards. So uh, it wasn't the music that I maybe led you to believe, but I hope you got a little bit of something out of your Thursday night rantings. Have a great one, everybody.